basically what I'm doing is I'm burning the lace holes into the material that has been placed on the shoe and the reason that I'm doing that is because denim is very temperamental so if I were to use like a leather punch or any kind of a punch uh, through the material it would affect the hole such that it wouldn't be a clean hole so also there would be fraying um, and the material is very thin so what I do is I use a soldering iron or a wood burning pen with a special tip which has the equal diameter of a lace hole and I burn the hole in uh, so that I avoid the fraying and I get a nice clean round uh, circle for the laces to go. I would say these shoes uh, specifically are about maybe 65 to 70% done. This is actually a collaboration I'm working on with a group of customizers from Orlando called Diversitile. And uh, this is a customer order um, and the theme is Chucky. Um, and as you can see so far painted on the toe is uh, a skin tone flesh with the uh, scar marks on it and that's to signify Chucky's face and uh, the striping uh, is Chucky's shirt that he wears and uh, I, I did the denim and uh, basically if you know Chucky he, he wears a, a denim overalls with a pocket so uh, I did the pocket denim and all the denim work on the on the outer panels and the inner panels. I have worked with denim before. Denim was actually my first medium that I used, first uh, material that I used on the shoe. When I first started, I actually made uh, a shoe just with denim. You can see they're about you know six seven years old. They've been pretty worn into the ground. But the cool thing about denim is that it looks better with age. I think, anyways. So it gives it that really fresh vintage look. Everything that I make is wearable. Now, the, the process that I use to make these shoes and to make my first original denims is a process called stitch thin glued. And basically what that means is that I stitch the fabric first and on the sewing machine and then I glue the fabric on to the shoe. Now, um, most shoes have specific crease points on the shoe, like when you're walking and how they bend. For these shoes, mostly the crease points will be along the toe box uh, and around the toe panel, right, the mud guard. So basically, um, anything that you glue, stitch and glue, besides the front panel will not crease. And if it doesn't crease, then it won't affect the gluing. Um, and as long as you use a fl flexible glue, you're really all right. Um, now my process is a lot different. I actually completely reconstruct the shoe. But because I can't reconstruct something that is being painted or is in the process of painting and it's not my customer order um, the process is just easier for me to just uh, stitch and glue these panels for this particular job but normally this is not the way that I I make shoes anymore because uh, I prefer to uh, build the shoe um, from the ground up. Interestingly enough um, you know, one of the most valuable pieces of equipment for a sneaker customizer is the soldering iron or a wood burning pen because it's so versatile. Now, I'm using it for the simple process of burning holes, but if you take a really good look at the toe box, you can see that there's cuts to signify, you know, real cuts. And that was also done with the soldering iron um, just to give it a little bit more of an authentic feel uh, in the design. So, besides that, uh, it's, it's been painted and prepped and, and ready to go, but other than that, you know, these are pretty much in, it, in, it, in, its, in the medium stage of, of the custom, customization process, and, um, you know, they still need a little bit of work, but for the time being, the uh, material paneling, uh, the denim paneling, needed to get done in order for the paint process to continue because the versatile will be painting over the denim um, as per the Chucky character. 